All right, I'm not going to wait to talk about this. I was going to wait until tomorrow or Tuesday, um, but I'm not. I'm just not going to, uh, and I'm probably not going to talk about this team um, until I have to. And I, I'm making this now because I'm just going to rip that Band-Aid off. This is pathetic. This is extremely embarrassing. Um, you have a team who should be at least a two-loss team at the most, two, three-loss team. Um, but instead, this season, this offseason, you go and you decide to hire um, a first-year head coach who wasn't even an offensive coordinator for a whole year. Um, you decide to bring in Todd Munkin. You decide to uh, change this whole offense, change what's worked. Um, you decide not to improve your offensive line. This is garbage. This is awful. This is one of the most pathetic things I've ever seen in my life. It is a complete embarrassment to have the amount of talent and the people on this team and have zero production out of it. And it's not its not all on the players because I know that's what everybody's going to say is, oh, well, the players aren't helping. I got it. This is all at the top. This is little decisions like coaching. This is decisions on how your offense is going to run, your scheme, your plan. There is no reason why this is what we're running. There's no reason why this is our head coach. Things have to change, and they have to change now. They have to change now. This season's over. I've I've said it the whole year. Just wait. Just wait. Everybody's told me how the second half, the second stretch is going to be so much easier. The season's over. The season's over. These players, it's blatantly obvious they've given up on the coaching. Um, there's little to no motivation here. Your quarterback, who looked like a stud last year, just got sacked again. Um, this is a joke. Because you decide to go hire a guy who is all talk, and then you go get a guy who tries to bring in this new offense, this new style, That does not help your young quarterback at all. Instead of going and doing what works, instead of trying to bring in guys who are similar to fit the skill sets of Baker Mayfield, because it runs through him. I know we can talk about Chubb's the best player. Excuse me. Chubb's the best player on the offense. I got it. But the team runs through Baker. This is the guy you decided to draft number one overall. Your decisions goes around him. And instead of getting somebody who can help, instead of bringing in people um, to get this team at the level they should be at, you go out and you bring in a bunch of talent and you bring in a bunch of losers to use the talent. This offensive style is trash. It's awful. And it's because of guys like Todd Munkin. It's because of guys like Freddie Kitchens. Freddie Kitchens should be fired. Todd Munkin should be fired. We allowed Todd Munkin to come in, change this offensive style, change the scheme, go away from what your quarterback works with what he works. Um, And is Baker Mayfield still your franchise quarterback? Of course he is. You decided to pick him number one overall, like it or not, you're stuck with him. That's just how it works. You can sit here and say bench him, trade him, cut him, whatever. He's your quarterback. Our history, we've had a bunch of failures at quarterback. This is the only one that has looked promising. You have to keep him. He is still fixable, but he's playing like a broken man because he has a bunch of idiots coaching him. There's no reason why this is how this is how this team is. We will be I'll, we'll be lucky to be a 500 team. This team sucks. We are hot garbage. We're losing to an inferior team. We're looking like crap. Greg Robinson's the worst offensive tackle I have ever seen in my life. I can pass block better than this man. Um, Baker Mayfield, no, he's not without blame. He's making horrible decisions. Uh, He's not playing nearly the same as he should. Just bad decisions. Another one right there. Um, This is an embarrassment. All right, his security blanket from last year, Rashard Higgins, has barely even seen the field. Your star receivers are getting warned and kicked out because of shoes. 
this is where we're at. This is where we're at. Our defense hasn't been horrible. It's the only thing that has gotten this team two wins. All right? This team, if, if the Bengals didn't suck as much as they did, we would be last in the division. And it's all because of the leadership. It's all because of the coaching. There's nothing. We're running screens on second and ten. Wide receiver screens on the outside to a tight end. It's a joke. I don't know what to tell you. There's, I've said constantly, don't panic. This is panic time. Because if you can't win against this team, you can't win against anybody. Don't give me that we beat the Jets. Don't give me that we beat the Ravens. We're going to lose. We're a losing team. Um, Hodges starting over Rashard Higgins. What does that tell you? That tells you this coaching staff does not care. Our owner sucks. I'm not going to say our GM sucks, but he made an awful decision on this head coaching hire. And I know I said Freddie should be head coach, but when you got your superstar freaking running back and you're not giving him, giving him the ball, what are you doing? This is horrible. Baker Mayfield, his whole career, has fit under certain styles of offense. He fits in a style where he can run, he can move out of the pocket, he can buy time. He has guys there for a check down. He has guys there on a comeback, on a slant. He's not a quarterback that's going to sit back and you're going to wait to throw vertical. He fits a certain style, and this ain't it. So, Cleveland Browns, if you want to save this team, if you want to save this franchise for the next couple of years, here's what you do. You fire Freddie Kitchens. You fire Todd Munkin. You throw every dollar you can to get Lincoln Riley in this building. And you got to fix this offensively. Defensively, we're fine. It's the offensive coordinator. It's the head coach. The scheme offensively and the coaching overall is horrible. That's your problems. Baker Mayfield isn't all the problem, but he is being ruined by this garbage he's got at head coach and at OC. And here's the thing. Todd Munkin's the one who came up with this offensive scheme. He's not even calling plays. Who does that? Who does that? Seriously, if I came up, Steve Jobs at Apple, he comes up with this whole thing. Oh, good, great catch. He comes up with Apple. That's This is what this is like. This is like Steve Jobs coming up with Apple, coming up with the ideas, and then coming in, bringing somebody else in who's uh, advanced in technology, and he goes and completely changes around the plan that was it was supposed to be. That's what this is. That's what, that's exactly what this is. Everything was clicking right last year. Baker Mayfield was a beast last year. And I don't think Baker Mayfield is a bust. He's not. He's a great quarterback. I'm not even going to say just good. He's a great quarterback. But you know what? He's in a system that screws him over. He just is. We can't score in the red zone. We can't. It's coaching. Get rid of both of these coaches. I don't even care. We're This season's over. This season is over. I'm not going to predict a single win for the next stretch of games. All right? The season is over. I'm not you, – you're, you're saying you're a loser, you give up. It's not me. It's this coaching. Um, and it ain't going to change. It's, it's depressing. Even if we do win, I don't want to hear everything's fine. Because bottom line is, it's not. 